and render. This is Bob. Hello, Bob. Unfortunately, Bob is suffering from a medical condition of which he is blissfully unaware. Let's have a look at Bob's life and see if we can see if there's an obvious problem. Bob gets up, has breakfast, drives to work, has a second breakfast, does some typing, eats his lunch, talks on the telephone, drives home, has a cup of tea and some biscuits, reads the newspaper, watches some television, eats a delicious evening meal with his lovely wife Brenda, watches some more television and then goes to bed. Not much wrong with that, you might think, except that Bob is consuming more energy than he needs. And additional energy is stored by Bob's body as fat. Fat that will not be needed unless Bob undertakes a hunger strike or a sponsored starvation. Bob has accumulated enough excess fat to be considered clinically obese. Being obese means that Bob is more likely to develop heart disease, high blood pressure, infertility and depression. To help us understand this problem, let's look at what Bob's life would have been like several thousand years ago. As an alpha male, Bob's main job would have been to hunt and gather food for the tribe. He would have spent all day on his feet chasing animals and climbing trees. He would have led an incredibly active life and would have dined on a diet of fresh fruit and vegetables, fish and meat. So, in just a few thousand years, Bob has gone from an active alpha male with an agreeable appetite to a desk-bound delinquent with a detrimental diet. Fortunately for Bob, he is just a cartoon, and his obesity problem can be cured by simply drinking one bottle of synthetic Super Slimming Squash. Unfortunately, Super Slimming Squash is only available in fictional worlds, meaning that you and I have to watch what we eat and take regular exercise to avoid becoming overweight. Isn't that a shame? This public information broadcast is brought to you by... Oh, uh -huh.